So, after having successfully defeated the second Light Warden in the game, and having given Feo Ul the opportunity to take over as the new king of the Fairy Kingdom of Ilmeg, it's now time for us to see the various side quests that the new Mu and the Amaro wanted us to do for them. So, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here at Navarro Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers Live. So, since we're back here at Pla Eni, the home of the new Mu, we're gonna go ahead and start taking on their various side quests. So yeah, since we have this conveniently located lovesick new Mu right next to us, let's go ahead and talk to them first, by taking on their quest entitled, Much Ado About Giving. The lovesick new Mu is struggling to make a decision. Should I give them this, or should I give them that? Ah, I can't decide! Yeah, what's up? There's someone I fancy and want to give them a gift, but I don't know what manner of item is best. To get an idea, I thought about asking some of the others what they would like to receive, but I worry that they might will mistake my question as a proposition. The question, if the question were to come to you though, from you though, it wouldn't be a concern. Please, will you go and do the asking in my stead? Alright. So let's see who we need to do asking towards. Yeah, there's probably a Numu up here that needs to be asked. Yeah, also Sigun here. Why, I will be ha what would I be happy to receive? I suppose the grimoire wouldn't go astray. It never hurts to have no more knowledge. Yeah, so we'll come back to also Sigun later because he also has a quest. Yeah, there'll be no shortage of side quests for us to do this morning. There are lots of things we can do, lots of places we can go. And there's also an Aether current out there, so we'll definitely have to make sure to get that. Let's speak with Iala Uul first along the way. My choice of a gift? Why a porksy for certain? There's nothing more useful than a trusty familiar, and the more adorable it is, the better. And funny Guff Dan over here. So I'll go ahead and pay him a visit. I'm afraid this is rather unimaginative, but I'm quite partial to flowers. We can't grow them in the cave, and they would help to brighten up the village. I think your village is bright enough as it is with all these glowing mushrooms. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that aspect of the flowers. Your mushrooms are more than brightening up the village. Yeah, doing that with the greatest of ease, I might add. Let's go ahead and attune. And there we go. Alright, let's hustle on back to the lovesick Numu and complete our first quest of the day. You've spoken with the others? Please tell me what you learned. Well, they wanted quite a variety of things, actually. I see, I see. Yes, I believe I can finally decide. Thank you ever so much. When I was little, a mortal told me that a gift isn't someone must give, but something one wants to give. For a long time, I didn't understand what his words meant, but that changed when I met them. Who's them? Simply thinking of them makes me want to give them a gift, and thanks to you, I'm confident I can choose one that will bring a smile to their face. Please accept this as a fitting payment for your kind help. Well, thank you very much. See, so yeah, away they go. Yeah, let's see if we can... Yeah, since this Kiri Numu is so close by, why don't we go ahead and hit them up next. We can find the staircase to them. So we're going to have to use the roots to do that. There we go. So let's go ahead and speak with Caring Numu to take on our next quest entitled, Help My Porksy. The Caring Numu is worried for their familiar. Please, mortal, I require your aid. My precious Porksy has been under the weather of late and needs some full-blown lilies to get better. However, I cannot leave it sad to do the picking. If you would go in my stead, I promise to give you a fitting payment. So yeah, just in case you're wondering, and we had the opportunity to see some of these yesterday, this is what a porksy looks like. It's basically a flying pig, using its ears as wings, and it also has a little tail to boot. So yeah, we want to go and drive for this one. In fact, yeah, we want to go quite a bit of distance. 
into the water. So yeah, it's time to get our swim trunks on once again. But let's get there first. And so yeah, you're probably wondering what does this place look like when evening comes along? Well, it kind of looks like this. It is quite a beautiful sight, isn't it? Alright, so we're getting close to the intended destination. Let's just go ahead and change over. And then... Yeah, meant to just regular circle. Yeah, we can drive this underwater, so let's go and do that. Oh, actually, we're... Th yeah, this one's actually above water. Yeah, that's right. These are lilies, which means they're on the surface of the water. Alright, so let's go and start... That's not what I meant to press. Let's go ahead and start picking these lilies. Okay. I don't know why I'm instinctually pressing circle. I don't know why I'm doing that. Like, I don't want to press circle. I want to press X when I get to the flower. All right, let's get these back to Pliny. Yeah, and hello to everyone who's just logged on. Thank you so much for being part of this evening's stream. Or this morning's stream, rather. Okay, let's go over to the Carrying New Move. Oh, your buck! Do you have the lilies? We do indeed. You have my gratitude! Now my precious porksy can recover! Will I feed it the lilies, you ask? After a fashion, being an arcane entity, it, sem it cannot simply eat them. Instead, I will infuse, infuse it with the flower's ether. To the creature, it will be as drinking sweet nectar, a sure way to lift the spirits. My thanks again, and please accept this as fitting payment for your kindness. As away goes the Numu and his flying baby pig. Yeah, his piglets. Alright, let's keep going around to find various other people to help. Continue on with Wid Lad and his quest entitled A Stranger Fwath. Wid Lad has another request for you. Shinji, I know you've already given me your patronage, but will you not consider doing so again? Alright. Thank you. I ask that you deliver this pack of mushrooms to Longmere Lake. The recipient is a froth, and he should give you an alchemical concoction in return. Now, though the froth are a strange folk as a whole, I must warn you that this one is stranger than most. He is far taller than his kindred for one, and I cannot help but feel unsettled in his presence. He can provide us with what we need, and so we trade with him. But if truth be told, I would sooner not deal with him in person. Hence my request to you. My thanks in advance. Also, I should say hello to everyone. So yeah, for this next one, we gotta go... I don't remember where exactly we are. Actually, we don't have to go that far. But we still have to use the motorcycle. Alright, let's go and say hello. Let's go see what this tough walk is all about. Because, yeah, we've already met a tall Fwath already. Back over in Don Meg, the second dungeon of the game. Yeah, here's the tall Fwath. Yeah, 
What's going on with this? This seems suspicious. I should probably be armed. You do not see any froth in the area. However, there is an elf. There is, however, an elf wearing what appears to be a toad costume. Top of the morning to you, mortal. Wait, is it even morning? Ah, oh, what does it matter? It is a fine day to be a froth. Pain, pain, go away. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Are you really a froth, or you're the one training with Wid Lad? Yeah. You're the person he's training with. Oh, I bet I am. Wid Lad and I engage in much training to our mutual benefits. But tell me, what brings a good mortal such as yourself here? What business have you with this humble froth? This. Specifically. Oh, the mushrooms I've been expecting. I shall enjoy these. Oh, yes. And yet I cannot help but feel disappointed. For rather than coming themselves, we'd lad sent you instead. Uh, it was inevitable, I suppose. I knew that one day they too would go over to the other side. And you, my friend, are but another brick in the wall. Another cog in the machine, never grinding. Yeah, there you go. And that's what you came for, yes? So take it and leave me be. I think upon the state of the new world. Very well then. Yeah, not the least bit weird. Alright, let's give this stuff back to Wid. And thankfully we didn't have to resort to combat. Oh, there you are. Did you receive the concoction? Indeed we did. Yes, this is it. My thanks for collecting it. But tell me, what did you think of that thwoth? He's a strange one, yes? This concoction works wonders on mushrooms, making them shoot up as nothing else does. It's something that only mortals can make, and in the old days we traded with the Vogarites for it. Yet here is a thwoth who is capable of working mortal alchemy. He is truly a mystery wrapped in a mystery. Though at first I found him novel, I began developing headaches when dealing with him. So from here on, I intend to send others in my stead. Thank you for sparing me the pain this time. I'm glad we could help. So we'll take your experience, skill, plus we also gain Nut Bake, which is a mage-based food. So now let's go on upstairs and speak with Osa Segan for not one, but two quests. Starting with Magic is Love, Magic is Life. Osa Segan wants to initiate their child into the ways of magic. Mortal, will you not undertake a task for me? You see, the time has come for my child to be initiated into the ways of magic and I wish to have a staff fashion for them. However, some of the materials needed can only be hired from dangerous beasts. I'm going to understand that you're strong so I don't trust the hunting to you. If you are up to the task, what I require is the leg of a moss fungus and the thorn of a witchweed. Once you have these items, please take them to our weaponsmith. Alright. Kill two plants? No problem. Yeah, we're... I'm so really surprised that a lot of people are expediting themselves to Shadowbringers and not doing Stormblood. Yeah, that's really weird. So yeah, that's what the high jump looks like in case you're wondering. Yeah, it's basically a faster version of our regular jump. So we leap and bounce back much more quickly, allowing us more agile movement. So get this Moss Plunkus down, there we go. And then, yeah, it turns out we have a Witch, re witch Weed right over here. Let's get it. Yeah, time for you to disappear there, witch. We're the ones who are gonna make it happen. Yeah, load up for a big shot. And there we go. Back now over into the city.
Yeah, this is the last experience level as well that we're going to be at that needs less than 20 million experience points to complete. So yeah, after we get to level 75, everything will be over 20 million. I do wonder though how they how they calculate how many experience points are needed in order to get experience level. Because keep in mind, at level 1, you only needed 300 points. Yes, yes, I've been expecting you. Come, let's see those materials then. Alright, there's the leg, there's the thorn. Yes, this is fine quality stuff. With these, I have everything I need. Let also Sigurd know that I will set to work on the training stuff at once. And back over to Osa. Alright, let's go ahead and head on up. Eventually. Alright, get off the motorcycle. You cannot drive this thing up. Hey, Osa. The weaponsmith worked on the stuff as we speak, you say? Oh, to think that my child will soon take the first steps as a mage. It brings a tear to the eye. You may have heard that we new Mu are magically blessed. Indeed, many among us are talented in spellcraft, but what manner of spells we excel at depends upon such things as personality and upbringing. I myself have always been woeful with battle magics, but my child may yet wreak havoc where I cannot. I keenly look forward to witnessing their development in the coming years. So you see, the journey into magic is an important aspect of a new moose life. You may take pride in having helped a child to set a child on their course, and also in accepting this fitting payment for your service. Yeah, there's one. So now let's take on Osasegun's other side quest entitled G Growing Pla Any. Osasegun needs help growing mushrooms. Tell me, mortal, do you know what a Pla Any is? It is not only the name of our village, but our mushroom, a variety that is exceptionally difficult to grow. Some special items are needed in their cultivation, and I would be grateful if you could procure them for me. Specifically, what I require is an undine heart, a bottle of Fuka blood, and a ball of Samid silk. Suffice it to say, you will be suitably rewarded for your troubles. So yeah, we know what the Samids are, but as far as everything else, we have to go back towards Liagia. And then, yeah, we gotta do this section all the way down here as well, so... Probably best for me to... Because, yeah, two of these things are over on the Alita Laran side. So, yeah, better for me to start over at Alita Laran than go and just drive all the way there. And also towards the Agia. So, yeah, we're kind of going to do this in reverse. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, we'll be catching up with you later. And as for that other quest, we cannot do it until we've gained all the other Aether Currents. So that will also be something we can do. Yeah, another thing they started doing to you is introducing side quests that require you to have the ability to fly in a territory. So it is an, an interesting way of doing that. Let's say, hey, if you don't have the Aether Currents... You can't do this quest. Alright, Sammy. So yeah, a heart, a blood, and some silk. So essentially, we are taking a, a heart, soaking it in blood, and wrapping it in silk. What is this, Halloween? And off we go. So now we'll do away with these guys. And get exactly what we need. Oops. Yeah, I got caught on the edge there. Alright, so yeah, here's the one. Oh, look out for that. Yeah, 
Also, all those um, shrubs that suddenly appeared when we had the situation occur last night, yeah, they're gonna now a permanent part of the landscape. Yeah, not exactly the most pleasant thought, is it? Take this. Oh, look out. Ah, uh, you died from the dot. You died as a result of the dot. Yeah. Alright. Now it's time for us to go ahead and jump back in the water. Let's swim on our way back over to Liagia. But yeah, how is everyone this morning? I know it's, um, for Americans, it's the day after the 4th of July, so I know that people are probably got an extended holiday today. I also know that there are some people who would not have gotten it. But either way, I, I hope that you enjoyed yourself yesterday, and I hope that you're going to enjoy yourself this weekend, too. But yeah, as you've noticed, the music is very tranquil here at nighttime. Yeah, once we get onto shore again, then we will be required to engage in combat once again. Yeah, even the lily pads glow very nicely at night. Yeah, definitely worthy of its distinction in regards to being a fairy kingdom. Alright, around we go. So yeah, now we are returning to the castle. Thankfully we don't have to travel too far into it. Bring it all down on them. Alright, spin through. And there we go. Yeah, a long way for this one, but we got it. So upon our return, oops. yeah, back over to Osa. There you are. Were you able to obtain the items I requested? Indeed, we did. All three of them. Excellent. With these, we can ensure that the plot grow big and strong. How do we use the items? You ask. We give the mushrooms water purified with the Undyne Heart, fertilize them with the nutrient-rich Fuka blood. And as they grow, we reinforce them with summied silk. Add some windows and doors, props a flight of stairs, and is ready to live in. My thanks, mortal. Here's your fitting reward. Thank you very much. So, experience skill plus broad bean salad, which we've seen before and is another spell um, mage-based food. So since there was a person all the way down here at the far end, we're going to also go ahead and cover them too. We're gonna hustle on over to this new Moo Culinarian. And we'll go ahead and take on his quest entitled The Mushroom Menace. The new Moo Culinarian needs help with a pest problem. Uh, not again! Oh, a pox on that pest! What's going on? Oh, my, to appear before me precisely at my time of need. It is as if you were a new Moo yourself. Makes so much taller. It's my mushrooms. 
The precious mushrooms I grow with tender loving care. A dastardly pest has been laying them to waste. It sneaks into the cave with its gluttonous googly eyes and devours my defenseless fungi before vanishing into the wilderness. Read me of the creature, I beg you. Lure it out using this bowl of sauteed mushroom soup, then strike it down! Alright. Yeah, it is a good idea to tempt them with even more mushrooms. It does kind of make sense. So yeah, they're not that far from where we are. Yeah, let's make our way towards the shore. And there's where we need to go. So let's drop down some soup. And now we wait for its arrival. And then... There it is. Yeah, take this, you. Yeah, a panic Fuka? Well, you're gonna be in much more of a panic once we take you down. Take this. Yeah, give everything I've got into it. Four long. Boom, there we go. Alright, so it's probably fast for us to just drive back. Since it does take a while to teleport and then drive back. Yeah, since the Culinarian is located where they are. YRP, is that what I think it means? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, anyone familiar with my channel will know that I did a low percent run of Final Fantasy X-2 back in 2014. To ring in the new year. Hey, Culinarian. You did it! You rid me of the Mushroom Menace! Now my precious mushrooms may grow in peace and I can sleep without those googly eyes haunting my dreams. Here's your fitting reward. No more, no less than you deserve. May it bring you much honor. And so away he goes. But yeah, as you can see, we're cleaning out quests pretty quickly around here. See, so yeah, I think I'll take one more before I... Um, reset the capture card. Yeah, let's try speaking with this soft spoken Numu and take on their quest entitled A Leafman and a Hero. The soft spoken Numu has a request for a traveler. Mortal, I have a task for you, should you be willing. By the shore of the isle from which Liagi arises, there is a Leafman. I want you to go and lay this sword before it. Do this for me, and I will give you a fitting reward. That seems simple enough. Yeah, we've definitely seen Lia Gia quite a bit over the course of the time we've been here. So let's be on our way. Yeah, time for us to return to Lia. That also means that we're also going to be driving back to the castle again. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Yeah, stay right where you are there, Laura Keat. Stay right where you are. Thank you. Alright, go. Yeah, time to run down through the water and over the hills. To get to where we need to go. Yeah, there's even werewood at, out here. And a very scary Avis. Let's go ahead and tune to another Aether Current since it's so conveniently right over here. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up quite a few of these things. How many do I have so far for Ilmeg? Uh, I only need one more um, quest based Aether Currents, and there's still four more in the field. 
Alright, let's go. So we'll go ahead and try and avoid the Avis as much as possible. Yeah, and as I noted before, you can notice Nita Laran off on the horizon, which is really cool. That's really interesting that they set that up the way that they did, that from this vantage point you could actually see over to Lita Laran. Oh, but we're not staying up on the surface here, we're actually going underneath. Yeah, this is an instance where we actually want to be under. Yeah, this does not happen often, but this is definitely an exceptional instance. You want to get around over here, and that's where it is. Yeah, it's not easy to remember stuff that you've only done once before. Okay, now if I remember correctly, there is also a spot around here where there's an Aether Current. Yeah, maybe, but we'll come back to it later. Yeah, there might be an Aether Current on the Agia, but we'll come back to it later if we have to. Yeah, we still have a lot to do around here. Alright, so let's return to the soft spoken Numa and complete this quest. You placed the sword, my thanks. Glad I could help. Lest you wonder, that Leafman was once a knight of Robert, a valiant soul who remained to protect the castle from Sin Eater as well as others fled around him. While he fought bravely, he was ultimately wounded by a creature with a touch, but ere he could turn into a monster, a pixie transformed him into a Leafman. Callous though that may be, Pixies can understand the desire to protect one's home. That's why they took pity on the knight and spared him a fate worse than death. I was there too, but frozen by fear as I was, I could do not but watch. Ashamed, I swore to the knight that one day I will find a way to cure him. Until that day comes, I will look after his sword, ensuring that it's always ready for his use again. To be sure, I could have easily taken the sword back myself, but I wanted you to know of the knight and his sacrifice. He will sort of enjoyed the company of a fellow mortal, I believe. And so we'll take our experience skill, plus some baguettes, which are meant for tanks. 